Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Samir. I'm here to show you how to hold a handstand and what the proper techniques are for it and what not to do. One of the main reasons why most people have trouble holding a straight handstand is because they forget to uh, use their core. Their core actually contracts and makes your feet come into a straight alignment to eliminate the banana is by engaging your core that is very very important I really didn't know that until just recently um, I just thought everything came from my hands and my and my upper body strength and little did I know that my stomach had a lot to do with that and um, and since then my hands hands have been a little bit more aligned once your once your hands are on the floor try to stay about shoulder width apart uh, try to give yourself a little bit of crease at the tip of your fingers. Reason being that that gives you a little bit more of an allowance with your balance. It gives you a little bit more room to play with, meaning that if you start moving forward, you could always push yourself a little bit backwards and vice versa. And it's to me, it's a little bit easier than having your hands completely flat on the ground where you don't have any room to work with. Now you just have to straight stay up from strength and balance. Um, but that little crease at the tip of your fingers will always help with the balance. Um, practicing my handstands is something that I do on a daily routine. I know people got their own ways of doing things, but as far as me, I try to hold at least a 20 to 25 second handstand four to five, five times a day. In between, I'm crushing push-ups as many as I can, and I really do that just because I personally like it, but I feel like it gives me strength for my triceps and my chest, and I, I, I'm a press kind of guy. When I do my handstands, I don't just shoot up into them, I press them a lot. And so that's where my strength comes from, from my push-ups. But most definitely hitting at least four or five handstands per day, 20 to 25 seconds each. And I definitely, although I feel like I'm experienced, I still work with the wall. That's like my best friend. And I do that just because I can hold a one minute, two minute handstand against the wall. At that point, I'm just conditioning my, my arms and my strength. Um, I definitely feel that banana handstands come from lack of conditioning your stomach basically your core um, most people can hold a handstand believe it or not I think a lot of that comes from just the fear of falling but if you put the average person to just do a handstand they really can most people do have the strength to do it um, but obviously you know you do have to have strength coming from your forearms uh, you have to have wrist flexibility and definitely some shoulder strength um, but the banana comes in because they forget that all right I'm holding a handstand let me just engage in my core and when they don't do that, that's when you start getting the, the whole leaning back and the whole banana looking handstand. Handstands, what does it all come down to? Confidence. If you're not okay with falling, this might not be the thing for you. If you're okay with just being a little risky, meaning like a little kid, you know, you just go up into a little headstand and you fall to your back. Hey man, maybe you're the type that knows how to, how to bail out. Bail out meaning, you know, you learn how to fall. Um, like a gymnast at the end when they come off their routine they always bail out and come into their stance you know um, so basically this all comes from just being confident you just got to have the you just got to be a little bit brave and um, and not have the fear of falling and once you can conquer that I mean I really believe you can do a handstand anywhere any place anytime